you know that a butterfly cannot see how beautiful its wings are, even though the whole world admires them. But they have to believe that those wings can help them fly. Every man is like a butterfly. He has wings too, but can't see them. But they have to believe in them. These wings are the confidence every man has inside him. Respected Toastmasters, lovely guests, and convivial youth leaders. Good evening to all of you. Good evening. When I was just seven years old, not having found my wings yet, I had a deep desire. I wanted to learn how to swim, but I never had the belief or confidence that I could do it. Every summer, I spent watching my friends swim, but I could do nothing beyond watching them. One afternoon, when I was standing by the pool, watching them swim, a noisy bunch of kids came running, and I found myself plunging into the pool. One naughty boy in the group pushed me into the pool, thinking I knew how to swim as I was standing confidently near the edge of the pool for the fun of seeing me splash. Now, as I was about to hit the surface of the water, I thought my days on earth were over before they could begin properly. I, as I was drowning, I had this feeling creep inside me. Some would say, it was the chilliness spread in me, the fear of dying. Or some would say, it was the cold water trying to drown me. But I realized that it was my desire to live, giving me the confidence that I could do it and I wouldn't drown. Miraculously, I kicked myself to the surface of the water where I was pulled to safety by some adults. Later, I realized that I didn't drown, even though it was the deep side of the pool because I believed in myself. That very day, I realized the importance of self-belief. There are so many great people in this world who can present the perfect example for this. The Kaskaroli was a war veteran in the Hungarian army. He was considered to be the best shooter in the whole country. Everyone knew he would definitely make it to Olympics. He made this his dream. He chased it day and night with innumerable amount of practice. But one unfaithful day, a hand grenade burst in his hand at a training camp. He lost his right hand. People thought he would have to give up on his dream. But he knew that he had two choices, either to accept defeat and sit depressed his whole life, or to continue on his journey to Olympics with his left hand. He decided to believe in himself and carried on practicing twice as hard with his left hand. When he arrived at the National Shooting Championship, 1939, everyone thought he was a visitor. They all pitied him, but little did they know that he was a competitor. When the results were announced, everyone was shocked. Is the man with the best hand did win, but the man with the only hand had won. He made it to Olympics of 1948 and 1952 and won gold medal in both of them. But the question is, how did he do this? He did this by believing in himself. His story inspired me so much, even though I have never seen him shoot. Now, can you imagine what an impact someone who is familiar could have on us? How many of you like watching cricket? Well, I do too. Do you recognize him? Yes, he is Yurat Singh, the Indian cricketer, famous for his success. He was battling cancer only four years ago. But he played very well in the World Cup just a few weeks ago. So now, he was fighting such a deadly disease, but carried on with his career in high spirits while well, so many other people succumb to it. And even if they survive it, they cannot continue their lives as it is. He too did this by believing in himself. The very difference between successful and unsuccessful people isn't intelligence, resources, or lack of opportunity. It is the belief that they can make their goals happen. We only have to believe that we can and we will. That very day, by believing that I could do it, I realized that I was a good swimmer and I won my inter school swim meet. So, we have.
have to believe in ourselves and we can do it. We are the key to every law ever made. We only have to mold into the right key to open the right door that leads to our success. Believe that you can do it and you will definitely do it. Believe that those ways are there and you will find them. Will you believe in yourself? Yes. Over to you.